taken a big hit during the coronavirus pandemic, and businesses counting on travelers have lost millions of dollars. But it's not just businesses. Thousands of homeowners who relied on short-term rentals also saw a dramatic drop in business. CBS4's Brett Cass gives us a look at what this pandemic has been like for Indianapolis Airbnb hosts. The Indy 500, Big Ten Tournament, Sweet 16, NBA playoffs, the spring sports lineup in Indianapolis was set to bring in thousands of visitors, all searching for a place to stay. Yeah, it was steady for sure. It was, uh, it went better than I thought it would. These two homes in Fountain Square are owned by Clay Cage. He bought them last August solely to rent out on Airbnb, and business was looking good. I'd say 70% of the three months out past March 14th was booked. Uh, just the 4th of July weekend alone would have covered the rent for the uh, entire July month, and all of those went away. This is the last day that fans will be allowed to attend the Big Ten Tournament. Just as the Big Ten Tournament was set to tip off, the domino effect of cancellations and closures began. The new coronavirus was spreading, and Airbnb was not immune. Those couple, three days were rough, seeing all those cancellations or whatever. The bigger, the bigger ones, obviously, bigger dollar numbers were, uh, yeah, harder, for sure. Within three days, Cage lost about $10,000 to guests canceling their reservations. He had a mortgage to pay and no new bookings coming in. He had an offer for a long-term rental, but chose to stick it out. Certainly, given the circumstances, it might, might have been a safer option, but my vision for this was to, to have it as an Airbnb, and it's, it seems to have been picking up currently, so it may be the right decision, may not. We'll, uh, we'll see. His bookings are now starting to pick back up, but at lower prices. He's doing the cleaning himself to save money, hoping this investment might turn a profit again soon. In Fountain Square, broadcast CBS4 News. Hopefully soon. Well, according to a short-term rental data company, short-term rentals in the U.S. are down 20% this summer compared to last summer after seeing new bookings cut in half at the end of March. The average daily rate is also down.